Hi Alberto, my name is Christina. Terry talked to you a couple hours ago about me getting this video over to you on three things you can do with your website to set your company above your competition. So all the things that I'm going to talk about today are things that you can do yourself and things that you can change with your website to start getting more leads coming in. Um, the only thing that I ask is if you wouldn't mind just giving me some feedback on the video. Um, I send a lot of these out and I just want to make sure I'm not wasting anybody's time. So jumping right into it, we're going to talk about three things that your website could use. Um, content, citations, and backlinks. So with content, the average site needs 1,000 to 1,500 words in order to be optimized with Google. And it looks like you guys have probably less than 100. And it says 200 words, but obviously not all of that is content. Um, these videos count as content as well, but you definitely want to shoot for that 1,000 words. Um, when I did a search for landscaping San Antonio, um, your number one competitors are Bradley Landscaping, sorry, Bradley Landscaping, and they don't have a whole lot more content than you do, so they would be really easy to beat just by fixing your content. See, 500 words. So that would be my first suggestion is getting to that thousand words. My second suggestion I saw just on your on your site right away is that it's not secure, and that definitely you want to get that done. One, um, Google will not put um, unsecured sites in the number one spot, generally speaking, um, unless there's just absolutely no other competitors that are in your area, which obviously San Antonio is very saturated with landscapers. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that your website's secure so you can get up to the top on that, but also because it protects your customers. So if your clients come in and they were to fill out any information with their with your Contact Us page, um, this information would be really easy for scammers and and hackers to get. And obviously people don't want that information to be shared. So even though it might just be their name, I would just, you really want to make sure that your, your website's secure. So the next thing that we're going to talk about are citations. Um, if you look here, oh, also real quick, I wanted to let to show you 2,900 people a month are searching for just this one keyword. And you want to make sure that these keywords are built into your content. Landscaping San Antonio would be one. And so that's 2,900 potential customers a month you guys are missing out on by not being on the first page of Google. So that's why the content is so important. But anyways, back to citations. So the next visible section in a Google search is what we call the map pack. And this is when people have their business name, address, and phone number listed under their Google My Business, which is completely free to sign up for. And then in order to get here at the top, you notice here that um, Bradley is number one, but then Grounds Guys is in the number two spot down here, but they're not up here. So you can rank on the top three of here without being in the top three of here. And the way you do that is by getting citations. And what a citation is, is when you submit your information, um, your business name, address, and phone number into directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, City Star, Thumbtack, etc. So what I would do is... Um, I would just Google Bradley Landscaping LLC San Antonio, make sure that it's exactly like how they have it listed here, and Google that and see all the different directories that they are listed under, and then go list your company under those same directories. If it works for them, it'll work for you, right? But if they've got 20, I'm going to go after 40 or 80 to make sure that you are doubling or you know tripling whatever they're doing. That way you can make sure to you know take over these spots and stay at the top of them as well. So... Never just want to like beat your competition by a little bit and you want to blow them out of the water. And then the last thing that I want to talk about are backlinks. And what a backlink is, we call it link juice and it simply works like site A points to site B. Site A is the link juice, which gives site B more authority in Google's eyes, almost like a popularity contest. You can have more sites coming in to be more popular, but there's a little more to it than that. Link juice is more effective if you have a relative site linking back to you. For example, a blog post um, about landscaping, you know, maybe about like different um, different pavers that you'll use, you know, a blog post like that is going to bring you a lot more authority and power than a blog post about pizza because you guys don't sling pizzas for a living. So this tool I'm going to show you that you can go out and get yourself, it's called Arefs, a -H -R -E -F -S com. It's about a hundred dollars a month, a little more expensive, but it really gives a good breakdown of what your website's doing for you. And you guys currently have 14 referring domains with 29 backlinks. So if you remember that Bradley Landscaping was in the number one spot, so these are the numbers that you need to beat. They have 226 referring domains with over a thousand backlinks. And so what you could do with this tool is click on their referring domains and see where they're getting listed and then go find out what it would take to get listed, your website listed on these different websites. Now, a lot of them are going to be, um, like some of these are directories. So what you would want to look for, like these blog posts, these are going to be the highest power back to your site. So definitely would make sure that if you're going after some of these blog posts and figuring out, do you need to write content for the site or, you know, how do you get listed? Sometimes that does cost money. 
you just have to you know, do your homework. So in closing, we talked about three things, content, making sure you get up to that thousand words on your, on your homepage, citations, getting listed in different directories, and then link juice, making sure that you have other websites linking back to you guys. Uh, just reach out to them and figure out what it takes to get on there. And you can use a tool like AREFs to figure out what websites you need to get listed under. If you have any questions about this or you feel like you just don't have time to mess with this stuff and you're looking for some help with it, absolutely give me a call. Again, my name's Christina. I'm with Casey Phoenix SEO. My phone number is 816-323-4100. Thanks for watching my video.